Hi, how's it going, guys? Uh, welcome to this. I guess it is a let's look at of uh, Battle Right. Battle Right is this really fun game. I've played about maybe like an hour and a half of it. I think an hour and a half, two hours, uh, close to that. Um, most of it has been private uh, because I prefer playing against bots unless I have friends to play with. Um, this is, I guess. Um, for lack of a better term, it's a MOBA. It's twenty dollars. I did pick it up on sale for fifteen. I don't believe the sale is going on, but uh, I don't know. As you saw in the beginning, there it will be free to play when it comes out. So if you're not interested in paying for it, you can wait until it comes out sometime early 2017, I believe. Um, but however, what paying for it gets you is as if I go to the private lobby. Um, you can see all the maps. As far as I'm concerned, there's no actual difference between any of the maps, just how they like they look different. Uh, and I guess just for the sake of the video, I'm going to do the five score three v three. Usually, it's uh, first to three, and it's a team size of a two v two. So you and one other person. I'll fill the slots with just medium bots. That's fine. Uh, but like I'm saying, what you get for paying for it is you get access to all of the the current champions plus any that come out um, later you obviously have your you have your melee champions here quite a few of them or oh, I'm sorry there you have your melee champions uh, you have your ranged champions and you have your support champions most of these classes will be well known to other MOBA players like people that play League and Dota it's um, I guess, like, I don't want to say it's closer to Smite than it is to those games, but it is, like, every, as you can see, everything is a, uh, it's a skill shot. I'm going to be playing as Jumon here, because he is who I, I like to play. He's this really cool archer guy. Um, obviously you can see left click, right click, spacebar, QE, R and F. Um, the way these two work is you gather energy for them, and then... There's EX abilities here, you press shift, so shift left click does an EX move, shift Q does an EX move. Um, those are really weird, you use this with energy, you can pick up energy on the map, you also build energy uh, by hurting your opponents, but you do get access to all the heroes, uh, but let's get right into the game here. It is pretty simple. Um, I'm here. It's top down, but it is unlike the other MOBAs. You do move with WASD, which I think I personally prefer that over having to click. Now, uh, at the beginning of each round, you get to pick a a battle right. I guess for the lack of a better term, this is a permanent upgrade uh, to your character. So as you can see, Hunter, Serpent, Heartseeker, depending on what you want. I prefer the Hunter one. Uh, because it means that I can just recast stuff. See, like, my regular shots um, cause incapacitate. Like, if I hit somebody with my right click here, uh, which I'll try to do. Yeah, if I hit somebody with right click and I hit them, there's gonna be a lot going on on the screen, by the way. Um, <laughs> I feel like that is something that should be should be mentioned, but you know, at the bottom you can see all the cooldowns, at the left you can see my health, the health of my, my teammates, Shifu here is going off hard against me, I can cast it however to escape from it, oh I've been slain, Shifu has been slain, it doesn't look like he has, he's right there, oh they have two Shifus, that's interesting, uh, sometimes the bots, um, when left to their own devices, are like, actually pretty bad um, I've seen it where they just like spin around missing each other um, I'm also not very well versed in all of the, the heroes like I said I've only played about an hour and a half and most of that has been playing uh, it's been playing Jumong here or I think that's how you pronounce it I'm not actually very sure how Jumong is supposed to be pronounced yeah see this happens a lot with bots is they just they kind of don't know how to aim. It's not that big of a problem because when the time runs out, as you can see here, the map starts to kind of close in on them. So uh, going out there obviously heals damage to you, but we did lose the first round. It's first to five in the game mode I put just so I can show off a bit more gameplay because, um, well, I, I usually don't lose against bots, but 
I died very quickly that time. Like my health just disappeared. I wasn't sure what was happening. I'm gonna go for deadly traps. Uh, my bear traps, I just press it. I would say press E, it throws the bear trap. If they walk over, they get rooted. A lot of terms carry over from other MOBAs, I believe. Um, I'm not, I haven't played too many other MOBAs though, so. I wouldn't exactly, you know, quote me on that. I'm gonna use my arm over there. Get the incapacitate. We can almost actually kill one of the sheep troops. There we go. Uh, if I can get my ultimate, okay, he did hold already. My ultimate is ready. Uh, basically, ultimate you hold F for. Well, I completely missed it there, uh, which is really sad. But yes, yeah, you you press F to ult. Um, they're usually you know pretty good. I don't think I've seen any that are just absolutely terrible. I do kind of want to reach this guy here. Root him, get the kill. Uh, after every round, you get the, the MVP of the round, you know, whoever did the best. In this case, it was Sirius and not me. I'm not sure why my bow is glowing here. That's new. Um, I'm not sure what else I should really be talking about. I want to take Disabling traps so they do less damage and also receive less healing. They don't have a healer though. Uh, Lucy, I do know Lucy is kind of a support. She has like little potions that she throws at you to heal you, and she has a little like single shot crossbow. Takes a little bit of time to reload. There you go. Just go ahead and use the energy ability there. I have found that the energy abilities are like extremely useful. Um. But in the more, or I guess, not more, but in the less advanced play, are not um, going to be as used. Uh, these little orbs you can pick up to get energy. See, and then they kind of slowly will fill it up. Uh, you can break the orb in the middle. The green one heals you, the blue one, I'm not entirely sure what it does to you. Oh god, get out of the fire there. I, I'm gonna try to leave this shot. Worked pretty well. Hit him, incapacitate. There was no real need for me to throw that, but you know, it's all good. Just having, just having some a good old fun. And then obviously, uh, after this, I'll show you where they're, uh, what, where, what I'm assuming is where they're gonna be making uh, most of their money. Uh, death mark or I'm gonna actually I'm gonna take agility. I usually take death mark because it means if I hit them after they were hit with either my my right click or my space bar, they take an extra four damage. <coughs> but I think the ten percent movement speed may be pretty good too. Uh, then obviously we start off with the R attack there. Oh, they they, they both jumped out of it that time. Uh, my space bar is my escape move, I guess, uh, for those of you that are interested in knowing that. Uh, those down. Ultimate ready. Ulti ultimate. Wait, oh, that. I don't, I'm confused as to how that happens. It's all good. Uh, got the root down. I'm more worried about the Shifu than the, the Ashka to be completely honest with you. But if you, if you might as well get him. That was, that was a brutal hit there. He just spun right into it. We're almost done here. Is that my third or my fourth now? I don't have three bubbles, okay, so we need to win two more. Uh, and then this is the last battle right, which is the round 5 battle right, because like I said, the default is the first to three, so obviously game 5 would be the the big defining one. So I'm going to take, if I hit them with my ultimate, I get 25% bonus moving, movement speed, which I think is actually pretty useful, because after your ultimate, or at least mine, uh, it stuns them. So I would like to be able to, you know, close in a little bit. Uh, 
throw that down. Hopefully they stay in it a little bit longer. I'm so glad I can recast that because I do I miss with it quite often. Um, I'm not sure if there's like a specific, you know, like best class, but I can only assume that there is, because that's how these kind of games tend to work. Ooh, I didn't even charge my ultimate nearly enough there. Where's he at? There you are, Ashka. He'll die pretty easily, I assume. Try to root him. I think somebody else rooted him for me. One more victory here. The uh, the AI is not... Um, they're not exactly the best. From time to time, though, they could be. Like, they do get out of hand sometimes. I'm not sure what triggers it. Um, but for the most part, medium bots tend to be... Uh, fairly easy. I'm actually gonna start with the bear trap. Maybe, maybe that's where I'm supposed to be at. Okay, this time it looks like they're all gonna stay in that car there for at least a little bit longer. Alright, get the recast. Ally slain. Yeah, see, this is what I mean by like sometimes it can get very out of hand. I'm gonna throw this down. Take out one of the Shifu's, please. Oh, I missed again. And then I missed that too. Ally Slain, okay, so this is a big 1v2 clutch moment that I hope to make it out of. I honestly, I don't think I'm gonna lose it. Like, I don't think Ashka's very, very powerful. The Shifu was my only concern. I believe I can, if I run into him with my Q, he gets a secret smart. Do that. Please get these half Alright, just ultimate him. I was gonna walk into that. I guess I could've like, been funny about it and rooted him out there. And let the map kill him, but... Uh, that isn't do it for this, um, that match. That, like I said, that's a lot longer than the match usually takes, because the match usually ends with the third win. Or with the third win. With the third win. She got the most protection, that makes sense. Uh, you get your obvious, uh, your score screen, see how you did. Uh, you have standard 2v2, 3v3. Um, I'll, I'll show off all the stuff, I guess, in a little bit. Ranked, private matches versus AIs. Uh, you and you know either one or two other people versus AI training and tutorial just to kind of learn how to play then this is where I think they're gonna make most of their money are these chests uh, the silver ones obviously you get by completing like daily quests and leveling up champions and stuff these three items one rare the gold of three items one epic and then the legendary is three items and one legendary um, it doesn't seem like it's pay to win to me, except obviously the fact that you can buy heroes and stuff, but a lot of people don't consider that pay to win. Um, you know, I think it is what it is, but yeah, you can go to customize, and as you can see, I have no outfits for him, but you could also get the outfits with uh, your tokens. Whenever you level up and stuff, you get. Uh, you get tokens, you get battle coins, winning, all that kind of fun stuff. To get all these nice, cool costumes where, like I said, I'm pretty sure that's where most of their money is going to be made. Is when you get these really cool weapons and everybody's going to want them. You have the default pose. I have the thumbs up one because I did get it from a, a chest. And then there's a lot of different mounts. Uh, there's quite a few. The mount... I... I'm pretty sure the mount is only there to uh, uh, to show off, honestly, because they don't have much of a thing. I, I even forgot to mention them, but like, when you start off, you start on the mount, and then the second you attack, you get off of it, and it takes quite a bit of time to actually get on your mount, so it seems unlikely that, you know, everyone's going to get a mount. I do have a... Uh, Royal Scholar. I believe this is epic, so it's common, rare, epic, and then legendary. You also get a whole bunch of, uh, see how I have 
I've done much, none of many, not many things here. Titles. I have the founder title because I purchased the game while it's still in early access. You also get avatars from the chests. If you know that's something that interests you. Uh, but I think that's pretty much everything that I really wanted to talk about. Uh, so I guess let me know in the comment section down below if you would like to see more. Like I said, you know, it's $20 on Steam. I personally, I think it's worth it. Um, like even if, if I didn't know that the game was going to be free to play later, I think $20 is a pretty good price point because you do unlock all the heroes now and in the future. They also have this ultimate fan pack which let me go ahead and just really quickly um, see how much that one costs. Wait, hold on, where? There we go. The Battle Right Ultimate Fan Pack is $30, and I don't believe it comes with the game. Like, I'm almost certain you need to also have Battle Right plus that, so you'd be spending about uh, $50 basically. This gets you obviously the legendary mount, which are these guys carry you in. Uh, the XP boost, it's 10% boost forever, uh, like for yourself and for people that you play against, that you play with. And uh, the cool thing about the XP boost is it does stack. So if you know you and two friends have the ultimate fan pack, all of you play together, that's 30% more XP. So I feel like that would be extremely useful. And you get five gold chests and then, you know, golden icon, whatever. That one, it's up to you to decide, you know, if you, if you like it or not. Um, but yeah, this is Battle Right. It's made by the same people that made... Uh, Bloodline Champions, I believe, which is, it is free to play. Um, the only problem is that that game, the, the publishers, you know, publishers kind of ruined the game for that one, in my own personal opinion, because they, not the actual developers of the game, but the people that published it, because they wanted microtransactions everywhere, and I feel like it didn't, that obviously didn't help out at all. Um... So yeah, I guess that's about right. Let me know if you want to see more. Um, let me know if you want me to like show off other characters or I don't know. Whatever you all want, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, I'll see you all next time.